were charted was a study that took men who walked in the door with advanced disease that were hormonally naive. They had received no treatment, and half the patients would receive standard hormonal therapy, and half the patients got hormonal therapy plus six cycles of Taxotere, or docetaxel. And what they found was pretty dramatic results that when they followed these patients over a period of years, the survival advantage was about 17 months in the group who had the worst disease. When a group that they looked at who had minimal disease, the advantage was less pronounced. So that may change how we approach the patient who walks in the door with metastatic disease. Historically, a very small number of patients, but also a significant number of patients who die from prostate cancer. But some of the controversy with charted partly is because we can't look at the data. It's basically a presentation. You can look at the seven slides and try to make up your own mind. But what's interesting is there's a European study that was identical to charted. Granted, the numbers were smaller, and granted, the people tended to have a less heavy burden of metastatic disease, and their survival advantage wasn't there. So it makes you pause and say, hmm, if someone walks in the door with metastatic disease from day one, who is the ideal person to receive this blast of therapy from day one, and who shouldn't? Because there's some toxicity to the treatment. So if you look at the, the death rate from the treatment alone, it tends to run about 1%, whether it's in the charted study or whether it's in the European study.